Last night, history was made at the Oscars when Parasite, a Korean film, absolutely cleaned ass, taking home a plethora of awards, including the prestigious Best Picture Award, which has never been done before by a foreign language film. And I think it deserved each and every one of those awards. It absolutely dusted titties at the Oscars last night, and for good reason. The movie's a masterpiece, and I can't recommend it enough. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn or eat my own cum, but I saw it coming. Back in 2019, you'll remember we did the Moisties, the top five best movies of 2019. We put Parasite as the number one. The Academy must be big fans of the Moist Meter because they absolutely agreed with our expert opinion. The Academy straight bent over and goatsy themselves just letting Bong Joon-ho run a train on their award show, which he absolutely deserves. Bong Joon-ho is a creative genius who makes nothing but hits, and I'm super pleased to see him clean up these awards. But this was not without controversy because they're not speaking English in Parasite, baby! Oh, oh, are you kidding me? You're winning an American award, but you don't speak English? Uh, it's an outrage. You know Twitter went up in flames. But not just Twitter, there were some brave YouTubers that weren't afraid to embarrass themselves and ruin their reputation. So I'll start there, because Twitter gets mad over everything. If someone came out tomorrow and solved every disease ever, people would still be trying to cancel them and fucking whining about it on Twitter. So we'll start with this brave man. It was already was nominated and won for Best Foreign Film. So if Best Foreign Film is the equivalent to Best Picture for the foreign films, why is it then allowed to be nominated for Best Picture? Can someone explain that to me? Yeah, actually, I think I can step in here and take that question on. Also, just want to say, love the way you pronounce the word equivalent. You say equivalent. It makes it sound like you're doing a really adorable simpai uwuwu kind of thing. Really cute stuff, man. But uh, yeah, the reason why it can win international film and best picture is because it was so fucking good that it got nominated for best picture. Uh, and it happened to be an international film, which means it also got nominated there. It isn't like, you know, the Oscars has, you know, best picture and best United States film, right? It's like we don't have two chances to win a movie, right? Like Joker 1917, Ford vs. Ferrari, Marriage Story, they didn't have two chances to win an Oscar. It was Best Picture and Best Picture only. So his main gripe with the Best Picture, as he calls it, sounding like he's straight out of the Rugrats cartoon, is that Parasite had multiple chances, as he calls it, by winning International Best Film and Best Film. He believes that if a film wins International Best Film, it should not be eligible to compete for Best Film because it's only an international film and shouldn't be allowed to be the best overall film for some reason. And he keeps mentioning American films like Joker in 1917, but he fails to realize that 1917 is not an American film to begin with, so he's already way off his mark. I, like, I don't get it. There's a reason why they made the best animated category. Because Beauty and the Beast was nominated for Best Picture, and then the Oscars decide we're going to make its own little category, which, which I'm okay with, to be honest with you. Well, I do appreciate the honesty, but he's also, again, wrong here. Animated films can be nominated for Best Animated Film and Best Picture. He says that that's never happened and it's impossible, but it does happen. For example, Up. Up was nominated for Best Animated Film and Best Picture. That shit happens. I'm not one to suck the ass of the Academy Awards or any awards show in general, especially the Academy, though. I disagree with the vast majority of their decisions over the last few years, but in this one in particular, I really think they got it right. And I don't think award shows are all that important to begin with, by the way. I think they're just kind of a fun event to get together with friends and cheer on your favorite movie or actor. But people were really upset about Parasite in particular winning this one, and the vast majority of the people complaining haven't even seen the movie. He also admits to not even seeing Parasite or knowing anybody that's seen Parasite, so I don't understand why he's being so harsh on it and misrepresenting the film to his audience. He just keeps talking about Joker and how great Joker was, you know, it changed his whole world, it opened his third eye, his dick is now bigger, it should have won every award that humanity's ever conceived, including a Nobel Prize, but he would have been fine with any American movie winning, just not Parasite. It's just ridiculous stuff. Last night, Jackson, Matt, Danny, and I, we streamed the Oscars as a little watch-along thing on twitch.tv slash moistcritical, and everyone in the chat erupted when Parasite won. Everyone who saw it probably agrees that it was the best movie of last year against stiff competition with Joker, 1917, Marriage Story, but Parasite was just an incredible movie that did some very special things. This guy hasn't seen it, and he doesn't know anything about the movie, as he says multiple times. I don't know if it's because he can't read subtitles, which I find hard to believe because it looks like he watches thousands of anime and reads hentai, 
or he just outright doesn't want to watch foreign films. I don't know the reason, but Parasite is a movie I think everyone should see, and especially if you're going to make a rant about it, you should at least know what the fuck you're talking about. But out of everybody in the United States of the motherfucking America, how many people actually fucking seen Parasite? Okay? I don't know what Parasite is. I don't give a shit about Parasite. It's fine. It won best foreign film. You know why? Because it's a goddamn foreign film. Joker, and look, I don't care if Joker didn't win. I wanted to win, but it could have been Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Marriage Story, 1917, Ford V4. I'm sorry, if you won Best Foreign Film, you should automatically be invalid to even be qualified to win Best Picture. You should. And it pisses me off because Joker, let's talk about Joker. It's guys like this that make Joker such an embarrassing thing to talk about. He's like a Rick and Morty Season 3 Szechuan Sauce Meltdown fan. And I don't just mean in regards to the new Joker movie, but Joker is a character I think is just absolutely fantastic and the new movie is spectacular. But it's so hard to fucking say that without cringing because of guys like this who just go ballistic on these drunken rants about why Joker was the superior movie and the superior message and this and that. Okay. Look at United States of America right now. What is more important to our culture than the Joker? About a movie that talks about mental illness not being taken care, taken seriously. About how people in high places look down and frown upon the poor, the poverty, and people with mental illness. And how we need to take this more serious. But no, forget all these fucking social problems that Joker touched upon. Let's have a better woke agenda and let's go full fucking woke and let's give Parasite the first fucking- Woke means absolutely nothing. It is a truly meaningless word these days. It's like saying challenge or prank on the internet. Truly fucking devoid of all semblance of meaning. But this looks like the kind of guy that would be screeching about everything being woke. Ah, oh, god damn you woke demons. You've ruined my Captain Crunch cereal. Ah, oh, I can t taste the SJW propaganda with every bite. It's just so silly. Yeah, obviously there's some shit that is pushing, you know, political agendas or any kind of agendas whatsoever where the decision is very clearly made just for the sake of that, but this is not one of those circumstances. By every definition, Parasite is an exceptional film where the majority of people who saw it agree that it was probably the best picture. It wasn't like a shock that it could win. It wasn't like super surprising that came out of left field. There's nothing woke about it, yet people keep talking about how woke it was to have it win, and I don't get it. They said, Parasite, the first foreign language movie to ever win Best Picture. Well, I'm pat yourself on the fucking back, Academy. Go pat your woke ass fucking selves on the fucking back. But a film shouldn't be nominated for Best Foreign Film, and then also have the opportunity to win Best Picture. Because none of the other Best Picture nominations had a chance to be nominated for anything else. You know, I mean, yes, the technical awards and all that shit. Ah, uh, yes, that is a good point. Uh, those technical words and all that shit. Now you're starting to really make some coherent points. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I'm starting to see your perspective. But if Best Foreign Film is the equivalent of Foreign Best Picture, then why is the films in our country, the country which we all fucking watch in the Academy, Okay, we watched those fucking films. Why is Parasite then nominated to that? Again, how many fucking people in this country seen Parasite? I guarantee you it's probably 2% of the fucking population. You, you know, Parasite did play in America, so the Academy, having seen all of American movies, also saw Parasite, as well as a pretty large portion of American population, actually. It did over 160 million, so it actually kind of fucking crushed it at the box office. Especially off of only an $11 million budget. That shit absolutely did great. Okay, do we go to other countries and in their best pictures is fucking 1917 nominated? That's a legit question. Can someone tell me if that's true or not? Yeah, again, I, I think I can take that question on. It is true. Yeah, American films do get nominated for foreign awards. Very common, in fact. It's the Oscars and their fucking woke ass fucking agenda and I'm fucking tired of it. I am tired of these fucking agendas. Why can't the best movie win the best picture? It did. This year it absolutely did, which is great. I don't know exactly what point he was trying to make here. I don't think he knows what point he was trying to make here, but a couple other YouTubers shared a similar sentiment, but they weren't nearly as heated or misguided as this guy. We'll turn our attention to Twitter now. Twitter was a little more upset that it was Korean that was winning American awards. They were more upset about the language than the actual amount of awards they won. 
Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you every single Meltdown tweet about it, but there are quite a few. This being kind of the poster child for this stupid fucking take on the situation. A man named Bong Joon-ho wins hashtag Oscar for Best Original Screenplay over Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in 1917. Acceptance speech, great honor, thank you. Then he proceeds to give the rest of his speech in Korean. These people are the destruction of America. Initially, it sounded like he just hates Korean people as a whole, and it would have been extremely brave for him to just say that outright on his checkmark Twitter account, so he went into damage control mode to clarify what he meant by these people. These people are obviously not Koreans, but those in Hollywood awarding a foreign film that stokes flames of class warfare over two films I thought were more deserving, simply to show how woke they are. That should be clear from the rest of what I tweeted about tonight's production. Woke has truly lost all fucking meaning, and also, if that's what you meant, why did you even point out that he was speaking Korean in the first place? If the issue you had was the class warfare and thinking the other two films deserved it more, why did you even point out the fact that he gave his acceptance speech in Korean? Your initial tweet is literally, Korean director wins award, he gives speech in Korean. These people are destroying America. That there, at no point do you ever even say anything about class warfare, the other two films just being better. It makes no fucking sense. Your damage control is way off the mark. If you want my expert opinion, I think this guy just hates any language that's not English because the tweet right before this one is complaining about Frozen being sung in other languages, calling it globalist trash. Imagine if this guy heard the Spongebob Krusty Krab pizza song in other languages. He'd lose his fucking mind. He'd probably go set a church on fire. He'd go nuts. I can't even imagine how he responded when Parasite won Best Picture, because he was melting down about it winning Best Original Screenplay. When it won Best Picture, my god, you know there was chairs and tables being flipped in his household. It reads like an Alex Jones parody tweet, to be honest, but it's not, and that's sad. Parasite is a great movie, it deserved to win, and the meltdown that a lot of people are having over its win is just ridiculously silly. That's about it. See ya.